Hi again. Sorry for some reason the camera's blurred a bit at the moment. That's better. Okay, so this is the third and last book review I think that I'm going to put up tonight. Um, so this one is Hannah's List by Debbie McComer. Um, Debbie McComer has lots of books. This one it says Matchmaking on Blossom Street. It's part of the Blossom Street series. Um, that's the spine. It's quite pretty actually. Um, the back says, I want, actually the back's lovely, I'll just show you. I think the design on there is really nice. So the back says, I want you to marry again. On the anniversary of his beloved wife's death, Dr. Michael Everett receives a letter Hannah had written to him. In it, she makes one final request, an impossible request. I want you to marry again. And she's chosen three women he should consider. First is Winter Adams, a trained chef who owns a cafe on Blossom Street. The second is Leanne Lancaster, Hannah's oncology nurse. Michael knows them both. But the third name is one he's not familiar with, Macy Roth. Each of these three women has her own heartache, but during the months that follow, Michael spends time with Winter, Leanne and Marcy, learning more about each of them and about himself. And then the little, this is pretty much in all of the Debbie McComa books, but it says, make time for friends, make time for Debbie McComa. So you can see, if I open that out, you can see that she actually has quite a lot of books released. Um, that's Debbie McComa there. And there's a bit of blurb about her. And um, this book was... Da, 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 da. 412 pages and the font, if I just open a double page you can see, was well, pretty average, maybe slightly bigger than average, I'm not sure. Um, it was a good read, it was quite an easy read and um, quite like, quite a touching subject matter but quite light hearted at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, I don't think it was the best book that I've ever read by Debbie McComer, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I think I've read others that I enjoyed more, but what I do love about all of her books is that they all sort of give a sense of living in a small town in America, um, and having been to quite a lot of small towns, you kind of you sort of create pictures in your head and relate sort of the characters and places to places that you've been. Um, it was a good story, it was probably worth reading, but if you haven't read any of Debbie McComa, I maybe wouldn't pick this as the first one, I would maybe pick... I don't know, I would maybe pick The Shop on Blossom Street or maybe Thursdays of 8 um, but I mean they're all a good read and they're all worth reading and they're all well written so yeah, so I do think Debbie McComb is a good author and she's pretty consistent um, and yeah, so if anybody has read this comment below, let me know what you thought if anybody has a favourite Debbie McComa book comment below and let me know which it was and perhaps why. It might even be one that I haven't read yet. Um, and I shall speak to you soon. Bye.